Special shout out to Matthew Hall, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kitty, Yushika Bay, Madlow, Sam Medina, Harrington, Killer Bunny 264, and The Hellraiser for your amazing support. To become members or patrons like them, check out the links in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Darkness Falls mod. Just want to see where we are again. Um, I need to actually go and make more ammo. Uh, yeah, we have the casings over here. We have some ammo over here. That should be enough. And then we have some bullets. So I took one of these stacks apart in the meantime to make sure we have enough uh, ammo or enough space. Now, I, I need to start actually making the armor piercing ones, but that requires iron in the tips. So, yeah, they're going to pack way more of a punch as well. So it's, I need to actually start making those. Stop being lazy and just do it, John. <laughs> Two, four, five. We're going to do that. So that's six minutes. Oh. Uh, wait. Put that on, then put that. That's 4 minutes 40. I mean, it's only like a minute something saved, but at least it's still uh, time saved. I should actually see, we do have iron, we do have lead. A few, quite a bit of lead. A lead. We just need clay. I wonder if I should just quickly go get a stack or so of clay. And then we can focus on um, making more turret ammo, because this is running really low. And we can focus on making more tips and stuff. We do have a bit of armor piercing rounds of here we can take apart for those tips. But it's only going to give us about 500 or even less, like 400 or something uh, ammo. So I want to make sure we can actually make the, the armor piercing tips. What do you need for these exactly? Armor piercing tip. Yeah, lead, iron, clay. We have those, we don't have these. And then a steel casing and batteries. If we can use all of this over here to make ourselves a ton of uh, armor piercing uh, coil rounds, the amount of damage we'll do is insane, especially during Horde Night. I wonder though... Yeah, we, we're first gonna have to use up all of these before we can. But at least we, we're using all the ammo during Horde Night, so it's not that bad. We'll make sure we have everything we need on us. I'm gonna start grabbing some of this over here. And let's go. Okay, so I wonder if I shouldn't go for this over here. There's a treasure map there and a treasure map there. And then this quest over here, but I, I think we should first finish this. As we go down, we go for all of this stuff. There's a treasure map right by us as well. I only saw this one. I didn't even see there was one there. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to keep on going, guys. We are going to soon get more Wandering Hordes and stuff. Uh, the past two episodes, though, we haven't had a Wandering Horde. But it could also be because we're driving around so much, um, they go towards a PRI that we have been at. So, for example, we've already cleared these PIs over here. Um, as, or say for example, uh, we're, we're busy clearing that POI over there. Um, basically what ends up happening is uh, we move on to the next POI, but they spawned and they head to that POI because we were just there. So we were like, where's the, where's the zombies? Why can't we see them? Why not? They, well, other than, why aren't they coming for us? Let's just clear all these POIs over here. And when I get tongue-tied, <laughs> explaining something simple and then getting super duper uh, tongue-tied. Okay, we still have to do these POIs over here. I think some of them we might actually have done already for a quest, so I'm hoping that's the case. Although this door is closed, so I don't think... Yeah, we haven't done this one yet. Unfortunately. I really thought we did more POIs than we have done already. Since this, uh, like, uh, this is usually like a tier 1, 2, and 3 POI with quests. So it's weird that we haven't done these yet. Our melee is going to do more damage now as well, thanks to the shot that we took, the nanite shot at the end of the last episode. For those of you that uh, missed last episode, we decided to go for the nanite shots. No, for the demonic shots instead of the nanite shots. Um, I wanted to go for the nanites because they allow you to run faster. But the demonic ones allow you to do more damage when doing any kind of melee, mining or normal melee like this. And then also, um, it heals you really, really fast, really nicely. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm thinking of just leaving the kitchens for now. We do technically need some more food. Oh, see, but that's worth it. We do need some of the foods and stuff. And some, yeah, the notes. This gives you food poisoning, right? Yeah. I'm just going to scrap these when I come across them. But the problem is, I, I need to loot. I'm a, I'm a pack rat, guys. I loot everything. But the problem is, we don't need any of this stuff. And it takes so much time going after stuff that you don't need. I wonder why there's almost never anything there. It's supposed to be an ammo pile there. It's a little bit of a back and forth when you have to pick the stuff up, but it's so necessary. Unfortunately, you can't power attack with this thing. So 
Someone actually asked in like a few, uh, quite a few episodes ago, why do I always? Oh, oh, why did I use the wrench at a stage instead of this Master, thing? We are not uh, even though this thing does give you a little bit more of, uh, it, it, it does a little bit more damage with left clicks than a wrench. Although it's, um, early game, the range actually does the same amount of damage as this. The thing is just with the range you can power attack. I don't know if you can still, but usually with the range you can power attack, with this thing you can't. I think it might have been changed, but hey. It used to be true. Okay, now we're gonna go into the roof. Now these, these pure eyes are small enough so we can actually just quickly clear them. The sooner we can clear these, the sooner we can actually move on. Okay, where did you come from just now? When I heard footsteps, I just had to check whether it's a wandering horde or not. Okay, it's usually only when you turn the corner that there's something there, but you can never be too careful. So we'll keep one tra uh, trained at the door, and then the other two will walk inside in place. See, the turrets clear their places out really, really fast, but the only problem is we go through turret ammo like crazy. I don't think there's usually a zombie here. I've had a few zombies here sometimes, but I think it all depends on your game stage as well. But usually this place does not have any other zombies, so we don't have to worry too much. I'm just glad we have titanium tools. It's so much faster arranging stuff and breaking stuff. But yeah, guys, I could have sworn that at a stage there were like a ton of zombies in this place more. Like usually around the corner over here. That's why they, the, these corners exist, so their sleepers can be here. I don't know if it was back in Alpha 19 or also back in uh, or also in Alpha 20, but I can remember these places were way, way, way more active. I'm gonna let them bust to the front door over here. My senses have picked up something. Just in case there's something bigger and badder in here. We want to make sure that the turrets actually have a view of the door. Okay, uh, yeah, we have the right glasses on. We put the others away. So now we only have the looter goggles on us, I think. I'm hoping I put them back. Yeah. Phew. Uh, we only have these lucky looter goggles on us. So at least we are leveling 150% um, base XP. And then we'll be able to also go and get the best loot now with these glasses on. It's easier having these glasses on uh, than to remember to put it back on every single time. And guys, these are really, really awesome glasses. They give you a major boost. It's like the Lucky Little Goggles on steroids. They're way, way, way more powerful. And then also, uh, they give you a third reward at the trader. So that's definitely worth it. I'm actually liking the fact that more and more mods these days have the broadcast feature in the game. It just sucks that... I mean, apparently in uh, War of the Walkers... Uh, the latest update allows you to get like a bicycle when you put the bag down. And since I started after the update started, I can't do that now. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just play as normal. How can I place this? For some reason just now, I couldn't place that at all. So we're getting a ton of crap. I'm just gonna start uh, wrenching all of these weapons and stuff. We really, really, really don't need some of these weapons. I also have so many, uh, so much already in the trader or uh, at the base that I want to sell to the trader. Probably do that this time. There's usually, yep, a weapons bag up here. Nice. Already looted this. No, we did not. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, she's not a demon at least. Come on, my lady. I want to behead you so I can focus on this dude. It's nice that the shock chance works so much more. In the beginning when I put this NCID on this thing, it didn't really shock that often. But now it's definitely shocking more. So especially when it comes across demons, it's really awesome. Uh, you know, I'm going to start scrapping die. Later when we need more die, we can make more die. Okay, let's go. So the faster we get through these places, the better. So I need to focus on this right now. Instead of focusing on, oh, I need this die, I need that piece, I need that piece. So let's just go for it. Okay, uh, this over here goes down, but let's just first go across. I can't remember we've, whether we've done this one yet. I'm just really curious as to why we haven't come across uh, any wandering hordes yet. Why aren't they here? 
Usually by now we would have at least one Wandering Horde in two episodes. As in the, this is the third episode and there's still no Wandering Horde, so it's kind of scaring me. It's a shame that using the sword doesn't also get to breaking and entering up. That would be cool. I'm to get my breaking and entering as high as possible for my uh, crowbar, but it's just not happening at the moment. I could just use my uh, my baton more. The only problem is it's not as powerful as the sword, so especially when you're getting overrun, you need to use the sword. Am I just moving too fast with the pure eyes? That's why the textures are bugging out like that? Or what's the cause, I wonder? My senses have picked up something. He has zombies outside, so we need to be careful. It almost looks like a big TV you can wrench, but you can't wrench that one. Hey, Jean, you have to be way more careful and alert. Especially when turning the corner over here. Don't want to... I hear a spider outside. Usually a spider outside. Oh, crap. Usually a spider outside means that there's a wandering horde, so I need to go check. For those of you new to the game, if it's actually your game and it's not, you're not on a server or something, you can technically go into F1 over here and see if something spawns in. So if you see uh, oh, wandering horde, it usually says wandering horde or something, then you can actually prepare for it in, in advance. But that's kind of cheesing it, so a lot of people don't like doing it, because I mean, then you know in, in advance what's going to happen. That's not fun. Uh, let me see. Scrap, scrap, scrap. See, now we have all this junk over here that we really, really don't need. Coffee we can drink. Scrap, 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 scrap. I do need, uh, mushrooms. If I can come across mushrooms, I desperately, desperately need some mushrooms. I need to actually sell the gun parts. Instead of scrapping them, I think you can actually get quite a bit from, for those. Let me do that, do that. Put these up there. I have to do this again. Unfortunately, if you accidentally take up the, uh, the space of your turret, you have to go reallocate the, um, the, the turret, and that sucks. Okay, so that dude popped out of here, the soldier. Still have to go upstairs. Ooh, upstairs is also going to be dangerous. That's, thank you. Okay, so if we open this up, what is going to be in there waiting for us? Are these only the one. Oh no, there's zombies in the roof. There's a zombie standing up there. Okay, so. Master, do that. Everyone else is going to wake up. And as they're coming for us, we can just let the turrets do their thing. Why oh, do you need to be careful? Imagine the turrets can actually explode the vehicle. That's a tough one. Okay, cool. So the tough zombies don't get stunned as easily, it seems. That means we have to be way more careful as well. You think you're safe because the turrets are handling it and all of a sudden a titan- I think a titan, a behemoth, and like the tough zombies don't get stunned by the shots. So they can run past your turret and they're not going to get knocked down or anything. Which means you think you're safe and all of a sudden you feel a massive smack. And especially if that- uh, imagine that smack comes from a... Tough zombie, oops. Field shopping crate, hidden stash. Oh, this one was full of stuff. Nice. Okay, uh, that's crappy. We're not going to need it. We could sell this stuff, but we also need space. Damn. We need so much more space right now. We don't need any healing. We don't need it really. Oh, we can actually drink some coffee. I should probably put a few things on my drone as well. You know, let's just quickly really do that. Okay, so all the mods can go on there, especially. Stuff that can't stack. Everything we can scrap. Oh yeah, at the moment we're very, very full it seems. Full on what though? Oh, I think I might have actually had like a uh, gener uh, radiator or so. Yeah, it's a radiator. 
With the radiators, I'm going to stack over here then, because that's going to take way too long to go and uh, scrap. For conflict. I'm just going to go and do this. Whatever's in there is in there, because at the moment we can't afford to focus too much on this. It's the only stuff that's up here, right? You could actually technically clear this place from over here. I can do this right. Oh yeah, there you go. See, we were supposed to go up the stairs, but if we do this... We're already up here. Okay. It's actually way safer breaking through the floor like this, so guys, because you can go through it one by one. It forces the zombies to also go and crawl through. I try, though, when I do that, not to hit the zombies through blocks. To be as fair as possible. For example, I'm stuck right... Oh, crap. I have to come out and shoot him, to be fair. Okay, and we can at least have a turret in each room. So if there's a demon, I can just take the, uh, the healing away. That's going to help us tremendously. Okay, uh, definitely need that. Thank you. I'm getting more used to flicking my wrist like that. So that's going to help us tremendously. Okay, so we're supposed to go over there, not here. We're done there, we're done there, we're done there. We're supposed to have come up here. Master, we are not alone. Okay, we're definitely done with these rooms over here. So now all we have to go and do is this one over here that goes up. I'm hoping a wandering horde actually comes by because it's been a while. It makes me kind of worried that the game's bugged if um, we're not getting a wandering horde, but we're not getting any errors as well, so. Just in case there's something badass in there, let's do that. You never ever know what sleeper it's going to be. Just now you prepare for one small demonic thing and there's a massive thing coming after you. I'm actually expecting some tougher zombies at the theater. This place over here. This one usually has a lot of tough zombies at there. Dogs, vultures, and just all kinds of baddies. Okie dokie. Uh, so let's just do this. Let's split it. I, I want to try and help them kill some zombies. If I can't get to them, it's fine. If I can, it's going to help them at least a little bit with their ammo usage. So I don't want this stuff to run out. And believe me, it's definitely very, very soon going to run out. We have way too many wrenches and stuff at the base already, so I'm going to start scrapping those as well. Our bench tools, the, the tools that go in benches, basically at the moment... I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, there's an airdrop. Nice. Basically, at the moment, those bench tool box, uh, that's completely, completely full. That's how much stuff we have in that box. But normal wrenches, our normal tools and stuff, it's not that full, unfortunately. At least we can dump most of the stuff in the vehicle, so that's going to help us with some space. I just wish there was even more space on the vehicle itself. If I see remnants of a wandering horde, then I'm going to go for it. Even if they actually missed me and I can just leave them alone, let's just go for it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen until you actually try. Okay, so we go through here. The vultures over there are going to wake up. I could have my turret shooting at the vultures. Hello. But I think let's just save some ammo. Taking too long. Okay, yeah, dump some stuff over here. We have a few zombies just walking around, but they're not part of the spawn. Let's do that. Uh, do this. Do this, come on. Need some space. Okay, the rest of the stuff for now we can actually put on the drone. Oh, I need to make sure the drone at least has healing on it. That's the one thing that definitely has to be on the drone. Because that way we can actually ma uh, just make sure that the drone does heal us when the time comes. Okay, we can actually dump everything. Nice. Okay, so we're going to start with this over here. Be very, very careful. See, there's nothing sneaking up on us over here. 
least if a wandering horde was to attack us over here, it's not going to be that bad. Oh, that's a ton of demons over there. Is that on the outside? I think so. Oh, it's almost night time now. There's definitely, I think there's two demons in those stalls. But I saw two particle effects from the different um, uh, stalls just now. Okay, okay, now we can use this one to open those up. Okay, two demons. Man, it's so much easier with the turrets. The amount of damage these things do is insane. Let me just close the door just in case we get followed. But yeah, this place, the fact that it will read two demonic zombies like that. There's only two radiators over here. But just go for the head, John. I do want to get my melee skill up with my baton. The breaking and entering, but for now we're just going to focus on surviving. Be so careful. Some of these rooms are vicious if you're not careful. That's just a tough zombie. Yep, just tough ones. I need to be careful not to hit my own stuff. Every time you hit your drone, you do a little bit of damage. My, my drones are actually starting to break just because I'm accidentally shooting and hitting them. I mean, this one... I'll also, I mean, they do degrade with use. But like, for example, this one, I think I, I, this is the one I just hit accidentally. Okay, this is full of... No, 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 no. Not full of... <laughs> I'm not going to take any chances right now. Let's just refill them. Reload them. I want to make sure we are ready for anything right now. Guys, I know this place really, really well, so I know there's going to be some tough zombies. I want to do this, and I want to lure the zombies closer as we go. Oops. We can actually get away and hide over here. That's fine. Hello. Knock, knock. Oh, there's a few radiators over here, but I think they're just uh, random spawns, right? I don't have to worry too much about them. I need to be careful. There is, oh, there's some spots in this PI where the zombies fall out the roof. Okay. There's this door. Oh, I can't. If I try and break it with my, uh, with my crowbar, it's going to break completely. I think the zombie actually falls out over there, so we're gonna do this. This, and then one on that door just in case. Okay, it might not be that way then. Come on. I could have sworn there's a zombie that actually falls out the roof over here. Unless it's a little bit further along. Okay, the room next door is definitely gonna have zombies over there. I'm hoping that me making noise right now is gonna wake them up though. Yeah, I come on, stop breaking through. Look how much faster it's wrenching like this. Oh, definitely some demons over there. Thank you. Just three. Just the three demons. At least I can actually hide over here. If they were to break through that door, we can just hide in this room. Although it's, it's not going to solve a problem. We're going to be stuck in here and we're going to be screwed. Okay, so I need to lo open this up. It's 14,000. It's 1,000. So much easier at the bottom of here. Open the legs and I can't see your head, technically. Nice. I love the drop rate of the loot in this game. And I think it's Undead Legacy. I kill hordes upon hordes upon hordes of zombies and they almost never drop anything. So it's nice when you kill them, they actually go and drop stuff for you. This POI is big enough so we can be here long enough so the zombies can actually come for us. We need to be careful. Probably just first clear these out. There are dogs, but I never know where they come from. I think they might be in the candy shop over there. 
do to make sure let's quickly do this are there dogs here doesn't seem like it do they come from the back or something Okay, that's not good. When they spawn in late like that. Okay, we don't need any of this stuff. No, thank you. If there's a safe or something, we'll go for it. If not, then there's no point. So we have to clear out this side over here. I might actually have had to bring my... the turrets with me. Depending on what's inside of here. Okay, just random zombies. Muted stripper. Oh, hello, mama. Oh, she's a demon one. Okay, don't expect. She looked just like a normal radiator one, but I think it's him that's radiated. I'm on fire right now. Yeah, I'm on fire. I'll drink some coffee, it'll give me some water back. Okay, we did it actually see if we can't get the murky water on us at all times. We need to heal, we need to heal. It's gonna suck if we all of a sudden need to drink water, but we have no water on us. Now, I don't really want to waste this, because this fills up on water in case we get low. I don't want to use it to put out fire, because I'm just gonna waste the water then. Use the murky water to put out the fire, and use that one to actually go and... We grab this. Oh yeah, the murky water to put out the fire, and then that one to fill up the... Uh, replenish the water. We can go either way. Uh, let's just go in the bottom of here. I think this is the way you're supposed to path, but the, since the gate's like this, you never know where to go into. Come on. There you go. So we can go down here. Or down here. That's locked. Hey, that's, how you, that's where you exit, I think. Okay, okay, let's do this fast. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, I was going to put one down, just in case. Okay. Okay, that's a good thing I put that on. Is that now a wandering wall coming through? Please tell me it is. I hear quite a bit of noise over here, so I don't know what it's from. This seems like random zombies. No wandering hordes. You can actually hear them. Uh, hear the slicing of the neck and stuff. You can hear that sound. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to leave that. Uh, do we just break through then, it seems? Wait, what? That's not all, right? Yeah, this side is actually way smaller than I th thought it was, I think. There's definitely going to be a zombie falling out the roof somewhere. I just can't remember exactly where it's going to happen. But as soon as it falls out, I want to have a turret ready, just in case it's a demon or even worse. There's definitely a bottom of here as well. I'm going to make sure we grab everything. Next time we should actually probably start focusing more on the farm a bit. To make sure that's up and running. If that's not up and running and then we can start getting the demon bosses and stuff. We're going to have a problem. Master, we are not alone. I think there's a zombie up there now this time. Come on, I'm, I'm right this time, right? Yep, demons. They fall out over here and over here. There's also going to be one falling out the roof here over here somewhere. So either way, we need to be super duper duper careful. Probably just make sure we have enough uh, ammo on our turrets. Imagine the turrets run out at the worst time. Okay, this side is clear, so we can just really go and open this up. Now just the other side, the, the tougher side that we start to clear and then we're done. We get out, we're gonna have to destroy this. Okay, so we're done over here. I think as far as I'm aware, we've done all, all the rooms over there. So now we just have to go through here, and this is where it's gonna get tough. And there's gonna be dogs and demons and all, around, all other stuff over here. Do 
Do not crawl like that, dude. That freaks me the hell out. I hate when they do that. It's almost like the horror movies and stuff where the zombies crawl on all fours like that. I hate it. Not a fan. Oh, there seems to be a zombie on that side as well, so I wonder if I shouldn't go in there. I don't think we're supposed to pass this way. This is the final room. Okay, just radiate it. Just radiate it so I can, ha uh, can handle on my own. Whoopsie! I say that almost uh, uh, end up dying over here. Okay, so that's... Uh... See, this is why we still need lockpicks. Although, at 10k, this is doing way more damage than the other vehicle. The vehicles, we definitely need lockpicks on us. We have so many of these um, treasure maps and stuff that we can actually still go for. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, if you see any schematics or stuff like this, we have to uh, go and scrap. Scrap, scrap. Uh, read that one. Schematics once again. Scrap, scrap. You have to constantly make space. If you don't make a space constantly, you're going to run out so fast. Okay, we have everything over here, right? That one, that one, that one. We have the weapon. No, we don't have the weapons bag. You are just a... Lab worker. Oh, it's gonna be yo where the other cop falls out or something. Let me just do this. Yep, I knew it. Oh, th that's the one I was actually uh, worried about the whole uh, game so far. Every time I say there's a zombie season following it, zombie following it, that's that one I was talking about. We finally, finally, finally encountered him. Dude, this place, I haven't really done that uh, often. I haven't looted that often, so I don't know exactly what to expect from it. And just put that over there to make sure we grab anything that comes through. Guys, always, always, always close the doors behind you. Uh, well, except if you can't. I think if you lockpick it, you might be able to close it. Reason for that being is you don't want to accidentally have. Whoopsie. You want to make sure you don't have any uh, zombies following you inside. That's going to suck. This dude, you're just a tough zombie. Who's your friend? I think he's upstairs. For some reason, the zombies can't go down a spiral staircase, so it helps us out quite a bit. Okay, and that is scavenging notes. I'll definitely read this quickly. And then how to make the orange tea. Yes. Now I can make more of my own orange tea. I don't have to worry about wasting it. Max level for the skill. Okay. Not going to be complaining. Come on, train at the doors. Where's the doors? Over here. I've had so many demons in the past in this place, that's why I'm so careful, but it seems like this is actually really low. Remember guys, even though our game state, uh, or our XP is now at 150, we're not instantly going to get way tougher zombies. So it might take a few episodes, we, we are leveling faster though, so with the leveling faster, we're definitely going to get higher game stage and get tougher zombies really, really soon. Other than that, for now we're fine, oh, we're not going to get like really, really insane wandering hordes and demons, well then again. We might start getting demon bosses in the Wandering Hordes, but that's about it. Seems to be a zombie in the front over there. Also, I do technically need to quickly go and loot this. And open this up. Hello, 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 hello. Man, if I can just max out my crowbar skill, imagine how much more damage we'll be able to do. So guys, I'm just going to call it an episode here. If you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.